Hi everyone, this is Megan Burns coming to you live from the Ferry Building of San Francisco, California. And today I'm going to talk about our July 2024 Continuous Line Challenge. We are going to do Continuous Line Water. Like what the heck does that mean? Well, look, there goes that. Can you see that? This is the uh, bullet boat of uh, Marin and it goes like 200 miles an hour and there it goes on its way to Marin. I took it the other day, it was the coolest thing. So anyways, the challenge for July is going to be continuous line water. So that's gonna look something, it's not gonna look like this, but just to give you a little bit of an idea, it's, you know, that water is a fluid, a liquid sub thing element right but there's lines in it right there can be lines we there can be like the waves and there can be splashing and there can be steam and there can be fog and there can be reflection from the sun right so there's all kinds of ways to that that we can play with the idea of doing continuous line water so I, you've got a few days now to, to think about it, right? Get the wheels churning uh, and think about how do I draw continuous line water? Now, in this group, we also play with saturated inks and colors and other mediums. So feel free to explore. I did direct watercolor for some of the flowers last month and I really enjoyed it. So I invite everyone to explore the idea of continuous line excuse me, explore the idea of water with continuous line, and then play with mediums, even do like digital if that's what you're drawn to, do watercolor, do oil painting, do crayons, do watercolor pencils, right? Don't even draw, just do uh, direct watercolor. Did I already say that? So just have fun with the idea of uh, continuous line water as I'm here out on the San Francisco Bay, I've had a lot of time to look at water and think about it. And I'm, I wanna play with it. And I invite you to do the same. Okay, see you in, see you in the group. Okay, bye. <laughs>